In this video I'm going to walk you through some of the design steps and the thought process that I followed as I created my own homemade scissor lift. My goal here is to create a lift that can lift my homemade honey extractor high enough so that uh, the barrel is above the bucket I want to extract honey into. In the past I've shared a couple videos on how we've made our homemade extractor using a 55 gallon food grade bucket. Um, that extractor has worked really really well for us over the years. It has held up great. One of the design aspects that I'd like to address is once the extractor is filled with honey, uh, it has anywhere from five, six plus gallons of honey in it. It generally takes two people to lift that barrel up onto a stool or up onto a chair so that when you open that gate at the bottom and allow honey to free flow out, the extractor is above the bucket you want it to pour into. Uh, my extractor doesn't have a stand built into it, so it relies upon uh, two people lifting the barrel. What I thought would be great instead, and instead of manually lifting the barrel is if I could develop my own uh, scissor lift. So I started this process with a trailer full of angle iron. This is actually bed railing uh, angle iron uh, from the local recycle center. I got it for pretty cheap. Uh, started to cut some 45 degree angles in it uh, using my uh, angle grinder. I wasn't making the most accurate cuts that I wanted so uh, went out to the store and bought a very inexpensive uh, cutoff saw that could make some some uh, more accurate 45 and 90 degree cuts for me. You can see that uh, now I was able to get a more repeatable uh, accurate set of angles uh, and the frames started matching up a little more accurate uh, which is great because it helped in the welding process a little bit later on. Here's a picture of one of the frames. So I made two copies of this rectangular looking frame. It's 22 inches by 24 inches. That gives me enough room for the extractor barrel to sit on top with a little extra room on either side in case I needed a, to set something else on top of the platform. Uh, the idea here is that uh, I would use some, some wheels uh, attached to the scissor lift arms themselves to help roll along this angle iron and use that angle iron uh, as a track. Next uh, I went to a local metal supply store here in town and picked up some uh, bar stock to use as the actual cross arms of the scissor lift themselves. So what we've got going on here is I'm using uh, garage door railing wheels uh, uh, welded into the sides of the cross arms that allows them those wheels to glide along the angle iron frames really well. Okay so I've just got it sitting here there's no upper platform on it yet but I can see quite easily that uh, I am able to actuate the scissor arms it doesn't bind up in any which direction. One of the things that I was looking for was the total height of the lift to be at least 14 inches, ideally 17 to 18 inches tall uh, before maxing out um, on the lift height. That way I could get the barrel and the honey gate that honey would flow out of up above the buckets, ideally a few inches above the buckets if I could in order to, to put some strainers in there and give myself some extra flexibility. And it looks like this is going to work out great. We're getting about 17 to about 18 inches worth of lift on here and we don't even have the wooden platform on the top which is going to give us a, a little more height as well. For the hinge action I'm just using some uh, clevis pins. Here's a underside view of the garage door roller. Uh, we're looking down below looking up top at the at the top support bracket here and again these garage door rollers are doing just fine. They, they only travel just a few inches uh, as the as the device is opening and closing. Here's a view of uh, that half inch round stock that's uh, tying the left and the right side of the cross arms together. Just got it held in place with a with a retaining clip there, no big deal, it's, it's working fine. Here's a view from, uh, from outside on the back patio. This is where I did a lot of my welding. Just uh, I've got the cross arms in place, I've got the upper and the lower uh, brackets on in place and I've even got some some flat bar stocks helping to stabilize the the cross arms in place so now it, it is getting to be to be really stable it's looking great 
Here's another uh, proof of concept. So uh, I've got it in the semi-closed position with a drill, a uh, portable battery power drill attached to it. Just gonna raise and lower this guy a few times, make sure that after doing all the welding, none of the cross arms are binding, making sure that under its own weight, uh, I have enough torque on my drill to raise and lower the device. Of course, once I get a, a honey extractor on there that's that's filled with several gallons of honey it, it's going to weigh uh, quite a bit more so want to make sure to at least is able to open and close under its own weight here and it looks like it's doing really well again open this guy up until the cross arms were at about a 90 degree angle uh, in this case uh, overshot by a little bit but it's doing great it's very stable rock solid uh, no concerns for it tipping or, or falling over so far do another quick check it looks like we're up to about 19 inches plus or minus depending upon how thick uh, of a top uh, piece of plywood I put on there So moving on, uh, this is a picture uh, from this past weekend. I had an opportunity to extract a couple supers, um, pulled out the scissor lift, uh, put it into the basement area here and put the extractor on top of it. I've cut some six inch uh, tall blocks of scrap pine wood and I've stuck it under each of the corners of the scissor lift in the closed position and allowed the lift to sit all the way down on those those pieces of wood essentially to be a, a brace or a bracket to, to further stabilize the lift in a semi-closed position and that worked really really well. So here's the extractor running here you can see a little bit of shimmy back and forth I've got a, a heavier frame on one side and a lighter frame on the other but you can see it's not wobbling it's not walking across the floor we can see those supports here just giving it just that little extra bit of, of needed support. Here I've extracted a couple supers. It wound up being about six, six and a quarter gallons, so it definitely has some weight to it. Uh, just using a cordless power drill here on, on low speed, it was able to lift the extractor right on up, nice and smooth, uh, no stops, uh, no binds along the way. I could have taken it higher, but didn't really need to take it any higher. This is a, about that 90 degree uh, open mark, and uh, it was just perfect to to, at the perfect height right above the buckets where we needed them. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this gives you some ideas if you're looking to build your own scissor lift or if you're struggling with how to manage getting your uh, fully weighted extractor up above uh, a set of buckets that you want to pour honey into. Uh, if you got any thoughts, comments, or questions, drop them in the comments. Otherwise, have a great day.